see she don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hit and love. Scanny ass bitch there. Yeah. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, LV Skinny. Today, I'm here to check out French Montana and, like, his past with Morocco. A lot of y'all were telling me, like, that's where he, he's coming from. Like, he's a big American artist, and he stole, like, I think y'all said he stole a beat from a, a Moroccan producer, or it was from a Moroccan producer, one of his biggest songs. But I don't know. I seen a lot of people comment telling me to basically cover and and let y'all know and also let everyone else know what French Montana is like doing out there. Cause I honestly I don't know. So yeah, I'm finna check it out. Y'all about to check with me. We about to get high. French Montana sur Radio. Salam alaikum, je suis French Montana. On hit radio. Hey, French Montana, first of all, welcome to Morocco. Thank you, thank you, thank you. French Montana, bon, was born bon. under the name of Karim Harbouch in Rabat. You live? On Casablanca. Okay, in Casablanca. Hey, hey, hold on. Let's start the video out. Shout out to Casablanca, because I feel like that's where a lot of the artists that I check out is from. I see y'all comment that a lot. Like, um, I think y'all were saying Casablanca is like our California, like America, and that's why I think an artist named Dizzy Droz, he did a, he has a song called Casafornia, and y'all were saying it was something like that, but I don't know, let's get back into it. French Montana, he was born under the name of Karim Harbouch in Rabat, you live? Born in Casablanca. Okay, Casablanca. Yeah. And you live at 13? Yeah, I lived uh, live when I was 13 years old, 1996. And the, you know, um, the culture difference is is very similar in a lot of ways and very different in a lot of ways. I mean, in Morocco, I'm so used to certain food to to people. There's, there's a lot more hospitality here. You know, um, when you go to the states, it's like you know, it's, every day is the hustle. It's like everybody just telling you, hey, fuck you. Like you know, you know, what I'm saying it's like there you learn how to hustle. Oh, in Morocco, there's a lot of hospitality, and I love it. That's why home home is sweet home. Uh huh. Hold on. One thing I would say, like, I, not about his responses, but why is she talking with, like when the mic ain't even at her mouth? I don't even know what she's asking. Uh huh. Yeah. See, I don't know what nah, she's saying. Um, I, I used to play football when I was young. young. Oh, I, used I guess to play that's what he used to do. Um, I, I, I mean, I was really young. So when I went to the when I went to New York, I started playing uh, basketball. Cause, cause, uh, and, and, and <coughs> the blind thing, uh, um, number one sport is soccer, football. Oh and shit! Over there, number one sport is basketball. That. So it just switched. Okay. Even if you actually start to rap in 2002, you're only able to play recently. Why is she like not bringing the mic back on her? Well, she might be new. Um, I just think it's hard in the music industry. Regardless, I feel like if you think about all the artists in the United States, that's big. You can probably count them in your hands. So. I just think it's just, it's just very hard. It's just like anything, you know, to make it to the top is very hard. See, I guess she wasn't thinking about her hand being, like, fully extended. I don't know. I met him through my manager, Gabi. He played him some music. Then um, after that, we just clicked. Like, she's really not bringing her hand back. Um, I just think he had a lot going on, and I wanted to do my own thing. I just went my way, he went his way. Like... I met I met P Diddy in um, Las Vegas. Then we flew back together. Then after that it was it was all good. We just made it happen. Yeah. Um, Rick Ross was the one that put. The I wish she really brought the mic back over to her side so I could really know. I can hear little bits and pieces, but I really don't want to like go back and rewind each piece just for y'all to hear this right now. Like she, I don't know. This should have been conducted better. Deal together with me and a Puff, and um, it's a beautiful thing, man. They're both my big brothers. And I just love, you know, I just, I just love, love um, I mean, working with them and, and learning from them. Uh, 
Um, Tupac. She got Biggie, who's his biggest Snoop, idols? Jay Z. Nas. Shut up, Hersley. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is. Um, dead or alive? Is it is it dead or alive? They dead? I say Tupac, Snoop, Biggie, Jay Z, and that fifth Max B. Oh, Max B? Oh shit! No, <laughs> oh, no shit. girls. Three Max B. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm going to see him uh, Monday. I mean tomorrow I'm going to see him. Um, I guess my father <coughs> left when I was young from the uh, United States, and I just I didn't see him until I came here. So we lost contact then when he left. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you speak also about your personal? Life? Yeah, I feel like it should have been a, a different uh, person, like. Personal asking these questions <laughs> it doesn't really seem like she really cares about his response it just seems like she's just asking asking a whole bunch of questions no i just like to keep my personal life private you know well she's a good girl yeah she's a good girl Oh yeah, I know who Don Big is. With, with them or with other, uh, yeah, of course. Artists. Yeah, I definitely want to come back and help artists in Morocco and just build. You know, just just I just want to come back and just you know, just 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 start doing like my own um mu like music fest. Just start working with artists. Just start you know, I just want to be yeah, a part sure. of the, more, the I mean the whole Moroccan culture. Are you planning to come here in Morocco and here one day? Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I want to. Of course, I want to live here. I want to live, yeah, back and forth. Really I definitely want to live here. <laughs> I want to take a trip out to Morocco. I really um, want to see I how just it dropped, is out there. That's yeah, I just dropped, like the, I just dropped the mixtape um, yesterday or today. The time is different. It's out right now. It's on .piff.com. And um, my album come out August. We have a movie coming out August. And we're just working. Okay, can you tell... She really did not bring the mic back on her side this whole time, like this whole interview. Shout out to my Moroccan audience, man. Shout out to every Moroccan boy, Moroccan girl out there that's working. If I did it, you can do it. I, I love when no I was shit. 13. I went out there and I made a lot of money and I've got a lot of success. So you already know, if you believe in yourself, make it happen. Moroccan, salam alaikum. You're number one Moroccan. Real yeah, shit, that's real last, shit. Last question, do you speak a little bit Arabic or no? <laughs> All right, so yeah, he's speaking. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know what he just said just now, but she, he just showed right there that he speaks the, um, the language. But I got this other video right here. It's him going back, going back home to Morocco after 20 years. I don't know if it's really after 20 years. I don't believe 20 years, but... Yeah, that's what the video says, so we about to go. I made it from here, baby. I made it from here, baby. <laughs> made it out of here. Uh, they welcome me back. Are you fresh? I got two of them over there. Welcome to the back of the world. I think it's all for him. Hey, what? 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 Oh. 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 Oh.
Got a kitty cat or a baby lion. Well, that is a beautiful place. Like that is some shit like I would never in my life ever see. Like myself. Like that ain't something I was born into. Like that shit was real life, you know. Like one of a kind type shit. Nigga fresh as hell out there. The nigga that was fresh as hell with that shit on. Gotta see if anything else happened in the video. <laughs> How does life go from that to. A horse, sir. Shmia. It's me, Tick. What is that? That's why I use this job. I used to slang, slang it like it was dope. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I guess I was just a young kid on like the corner selling something that like is people's made type shit. That's how I be too. Okay, you gotta eat. You gotta st start making money sooner or later. Shit. Look at them kids over there. That nigga French Montana's head look like a dick. That shit look like a dick. I had to say it. I had to. That shit look crazy as hell right now. That was a bad choice of damn shit right there. So the coach stuff from Sutton. They're not home in their iPad. I've never seen a city on blue. Look at the sheeps in the back. That's real though. He said they ain't at home when they out there. Like, they out playing soccer. Don't let the finisher go ahead. Why? You trying to finish it. We don't finish it, man. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm stop it right there. But yeah, man, um, I feel like French Montana fucks Morocco hard. Like, I don't, I don't know how, how like, y'all see it because y'all are the ones, like, actually affected by him or what he may say and, like, what goes on. So, y'all let me know if he's really, like, like, pushing y'all and, like, y'all really fuck with him or, like, because people were saying that Drake, y'all know Drake, they were saying he was stealing from the uh, the UK, the UK culture. So I had to do a video on that, you know what I'm saying? And people was, was really telling me what they was thinking. But yeah, uh, I don't I don't feel like French Montana is just trying to take from the culture. Like I feel like that's just real. Like that's what the fuck he came from, and he just just speaking about it on some real shit, showing that he's he's here now and he was there. And motherfucker, he did hella hard work and is he's up. But yeah, uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Shout out to Morocco. And yeah, man, shout out French Montana also. Till next time, YouTube. I'm out. Five minute man, I'm in your bitch and then I'm out, gone. All I need is five minutes in or out her mouth. If she talking crazy, nigga, I just kick her out. This a one where I'm bout, bet I knock her pussy out.